as this memorial is for more than just the 11 women that were found nearby. They deserve better, and she may have lived on the street, but she was not a piece of trash. This memorial is really for all of the missing women who are either murdered or just were on the street and were never found. Gone, but not forgotten. A memorial stands to remember the lost women in what is known as one of the largest crime scenes in New Mexico's history, the West Mesa murders. The memorial, I think, is going to be a big difference for our, our grandkids. In 2009, the bodies of 11 women and an unborn child were found buried in a mass grave. Eight years after they were found, the families of the 11 victims are still grieving. Isabel Candelaria's daughter was one of the bodies found. It was hard. The not knowing. This memorial is just feet away from the original excavation point where allegedly a dog had uncovered the first bones of the first found victims. Many of our grandkids have really gone along. They have not been, you know, the same since. Candelaria hopes the memorial will be a place where children of the dead can deal with the loss of their mothers. They'll have a place to go and, you know, kind of like grief because it's hard for them. Investigators never found who was responsible and the case has gone cold. It's a cold case already and wish it would open up. Could he still be out there doing it? Or in other places? He or whoever did do it. We asked some of the family members whether they knew who built this memorial and they said they didn't, but they did think it was very thoughtful. Live on the West Mesa, Chris Cordaro, KOAT Action 7 News.